Hi, everybody, and welcome back to another Square Enix Presents segment. Uh, I'm glad you guys have been watching all day, so make sure you subscribe to the channel and continue watching throughout the, the other segments later today as well as Wednesday and Thursday. My name is Matt Kishimoto, and I'm jo joined by the lovely Kerry Takasue, and we're here to talk about everything Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix. Thank you, Matt, for your kind introduction. Uh, for those who have just tuned in, we are joined by Mr. Tai Yasue, who is the co-director of Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix. So a few weeks ago, when we found out that Mr. Yasue might possibly be joining us at E3, we reached out to the fans and asked you all, what question would you like to ask the developer, if you can, any question about Kingdom Hearts, what would that be? So in order to make our segment more personable and fun, uh, he's here today, and we reached out to you, the community, and uh, here are some questions. Uh, Mr. Yasue, would you like to say a couple words about okay. kind of your role okay. on the team and kind I'll of what you that. do? Uh, first of all, I'm really excited to be here. Um, a lot of passionate fans uh, get to meet them. That's not something we could usually do while in development. Um, what I do is I'm the co-director, so I actually uh, direct the day-by-day -day, uh, running of the team, the development team. Um, we manage the schedule, and I also do a lot of the game design, the overall game design, how the game plays, and I write that up, and I do, well, I, I, I communicate with Nomura to see what he wants to do, and we sort of uh, do uh, ideas. <laughs> we <laughs> exchange ideas to make the Kingdom Hearts really special. So I guess that's my job. That is awesome. So like Harry said, we just put the poll out on Facebook. Three days, thousands upon thousands of questions. So our fan base is super passionate and they're super excited to talk to you. Uh, so let's kind of just jump into the first question. So the most commonly asked thing on all of Facebook was, when is this game coming out? So we're so happy we can finally tell you guys that in North America... It is December 2nd, 2014 this year. And then in Europe, it's coming out the 5th of December, 2014. So you only have to wait a couple more months. Yes, I'm so excited that we finally set the release date to engage and get uh, attention of all of our eager fans. And speaking of fans, I wanted to kick off the first question to one of the most polite fans who actually left a message uh, before his question. So Kyle B. from Fresno, America, uh, you said this. Firstly, I would like to congratulate the entire staff and active members a part of the Kingdom Hearts saga and say a big thank you for your time and dedication for all of the games you bring to us and amazing, unforgettable moments each title brings. I think we all can say that to the team, right? Thank you. Thank you, actually. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, thank you, Kyle V. Uh, so his question uh, goes into Birth by Sleep Final Mix. So this guy doesn't even speak Japanese, but he imported it from Japan. Mm -hmm. So Birth by Sleep Final Mix was probably the greatest thing I was able to import to be able to play for my PSP. Aside from new optional bosses and a secret episode featuring Aqua, I really enjoyed fighting in the Mirage Arena with my friends against No Hard and the Armor of Master. So please answer this question <laughs> in all caps. I kid you not. Uh, will the multiplayer option in 2.5 be present for Birth by Sleep? Um, the multiplayer, um, we took in consideration our schedule, and uh, right now we are actually uh, simultaneously making 2.5 and 3. And due to our schedule considerations, we sort of uh, wanted to let the player play on single player mode instead of multiplayer. Um, multiplayer takes a lot of time, and we wanted to sort of concentrate more on uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 so that we could speed that up. Um, but although um, we actually changed, uh, we all wanted the, uh, the, use, uh, the players to actually play in the Mirage, uh, Mirage, uh, Mirage Arena. Um, so we actually uh, tweaked it so a lot of the uh, bosses would be enjoyable. Um, we also tweaked the AIs so they were more quick. And um, overall, we also added some new rules. Uh, for example, the challenge bonus, um, which um, if there's a, a challenge for each uh, battle. And if you clear them, you get some uh, bonus medals. So you could still enjoy it um, on sol solo mode. Cool. All right. Okay. So we have another question for you. This is from James B. from Dayton, Ohio, USA. Will HD 2.5 Remix have a theater mode? Um, yeah. That's something we really wanted to do. Um, when we first wanted to create uh, Kingdom Hearts 3, we made a uh, decision to make 1.5 and 2.5 as well. And the reason for doing that was we wanted users, uh, the players, to actually understand the story. Mm -hmm. And so rec uh, Recoded is really an integral part of the story of Kingdom Hearts. So we added a, a three-hour cutscene as theater. And two hours of that is original and totally new. So I guess uh, you get a lot of new content. Okay. And when you say original and totally new, is it correct to believe that nobody in the whole entire world has seen those two that's hours? That's right. Yeah, that's oh, right. Exciting. It's two hours. And uh -huh. also, um, e um, 
players that actually play that know the recoded story, there's actually n totally new story as well. A little bit added uh, story for some of the backstories of other Kingdom Hearts titles in it. That's sort of a secret, but yeah. Oh. oh there's sort of a backstory, sort of uh, a secret uh, episode sort of thing. Okay, that is awesome. I did not even know that. Uh, so this next question, it comes from Jacob C. from Toronto, Canada. If you guys didn't know, Yasui-san, he actually comes from Vancouver, Canada. Yeah, that's right. I'm from Vancouver, Canada. <laughs> All right. I follow Canuck. Uh, so will the game mechanics of Kingdom Hearts 2 and or Birth by Sleep be different from their original versions okay. in 2.5 Remix? Um, well, for Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix and Birth by Sleep Final Mix, uh, we got really positive reviews. So really, we really didn't want to change uh, too much. Um, we really wanted to concentrate on grading it up to the PS3. I think um, we didn't want to anger our fans, obviously, <laughs> by changing it too much. But yeah, um, so we really concentrated on the graphics and the sound. Um, we put a lot of man hours on that so that you could get a really premier experience on the PS3 on a big TV. Um, so I thought that's what we did. So Mr. Oh, sorry. Uh, Mr. Chai, the next question combines three fans who were curious about the challenges that you and your team face on the development mm -hmm. side. So this question is from Ryan K. from USA. Uh, what was the biggest challenge in developing this remix in comparison to last year's mm -hmm. 1.5 remix? Well, for 1.5, we've never made an HD remix before, right? So we didn't know how to make the system for the PS3. Mm -hmm. So for 2.5, we didn't have a lot of difficulty programming the system and the way, in, uh, the way the, to make the uh, workflow. Mm -hmm. um, so what, that was pretty easy. That was pretty smooth. But what was difficult was we actually wanted to do more to grade up the quality of the uh, graphics and the sound. Um, we totally changed the polygons and the textures for Birth by Sleep. Um, there, we use a lot more memory for that. And also, uh, from Kingdom Hearts 2, the textures have been all totally uh, remade. So it's a lot prettier, the colors are more vivid, and it's really beautiful to watch. And also for sound, I guess, that's something we did, we put a lot of effort into as well. All right, and this kind of combines with that question um, from Ashley from Gravesland, England, as well as Brittany from Miami, Florida. Uh, what was the most important part in making 2.5 2 Remix for you? Well, for um, I, I mentioned this before, um, I think we really didn't want to change what was good about Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix and Birth by Sleep, so we didn't really change the game balance or the major game system. We tweaked a bit. Yeah but we really wanted to focus on making it a PS3 experience. We wanted to really exceed um, our uh, player base, uh, player's expectations from that. So um, I think it's really gorgeous, drop dead yes, gorgeous yes. Uh, to it's play. Sure yeah. <laughs> so we really wanted to concentrate on that, I think. That's cool. And even like some of the color palettes have been swapped with like the That's right, it's totally stuff like different. That. Yeah, for the PS3, the colors you can use are uh, far richer, I think. And you get a really deeper uh, experience playing that. Um, for Kingdom Hearts 2, I think, it was actually pretty pretty at the beginning. Um, but the uh, first uh, PlayStation second ver uh, yeah. 2 version yeah. was really good too, but yeah. I think it really realized its full potential on the PS3. I mean, yeah. Cool. So, yeah. Cannot wait. All right, so we've asked you some difficult questions kind of about how the industry works and mm -hmm. kind of the challenges you guys have faced in developing. Um, aside from the difficult stuff, this comes from Damien from Glastonbury, Connecticut. Uh, what was the most enjoyable part? of creating 2.5? Well, I guess, uh, you know, I, uh, the team from Kingdom Hearts uh, 2.5, the programmers are really funny, I think. <laughs> I, mean, I, like, I like working with them. One of the guys is called Eggplant in Japanese, <laughs> and he has a purple house. He also looks sort of sh shaped like an eggplant, right? So I think <laughs> that's something I really enjoy doing. I like talking with them. I like working with them. It's really fun. Um, <laughs> I guess that's uh, yeah, that's a fun point. Um, I guess one of the fun things is actually watching uh, Kingdom Hearts 2.5 on a big screen. We mm -hmm. check it right on a big screen with uh, with them, and I think uh, <laughs> it's 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 well, it's sort of uh, it's very emotional. It's very yeah. to learn that it has gotten a lot better. That's right? cool. Yeah. Um, now, kind of transitioning uh, back into Birth by Sleep, like this comes from Dean J from Conway, mm -hmm. South Carolina. How did you go about bringing a PSP game? Uh, and porting it onto a PS3 into, into full high down. Okay, well there's uh, several steps, I guess, to, uh, to break it down easily. Um, uh, first, what we do is we sort of recompile um, the, uh, the program for the PSP, and then we sort of uh, um, make it into a PS3 ber version. And after that, uh, recompiling and fixing the code so that you could add uh, PS3 data, what we do is with our graphical... Gra Those Disney fans out there, uh, Justin B. from Clinton Township, New Jersey, USA wanted to know, which Disney World was the most fun for you to create, Mr. Yes? Um, 
Well, I love the uh, Castle of Dreams, actually. Okay. It's from Cinderella. Um, that's one of the first ones I actually planned or game designed, right? So it's really special for me. I liked uh, playing in a, uh, as a small mouse-sized character um, in the house. It's yeah. very three-dimensional. It's very vast. And I loved finding uh, the different pieces yeah. of the dress, the material for a dress. And that was actually very enjoyable for me. Yeah, I like that level a lot, just because of the verticality and you yeah, get into kind of the mouse holes. And yeah, I think that was, uh, I think I, I really love environments that are very vertical. Yeah. And so, yeah, they're not they're not just flat, I guess. It's really, you go up, 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 and up, and yeah. that sort of thing. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. something I really enjoy. All right, so more casual fun questions. Uh, Brittany from Miami, Florida, USA asks, what is the most favorite thing that the development team enjoys about being able to bring Kingdom Hearts HD 2.5 Remix to old and brand new fans, and how does it allow for added possibilities? Well, um, well, what we really enjoyed, well, you know, for uh, Birth by Sleep, mm -hmm. um, we all really, uh, we made the, for, uh, the, the first version, right? So it was really close to us, right. and then we really didn't want to make any mistakes. So mm -hmm. I guess that was really special for us. Yeah. And for me, I guess, you know, Kingdom Hearts 2 and Birth by Sleep, I think they're one of my favorite titles for the Kingdom Hearts series, and I think that uh, a, lot of user, a lot of players also feel the same way. So I think that was really enjoyable as well. Good that they relate. That's cool. Uh, from Pierce T from Arlington, Texas, are there any game mechanics that you have wanted to include in the series but never made it in into any of one of the existing titles due to time or kind of hardware limitations? Um, well, you know, for Birth by Sleep, we did a lot of experimentations with the shot lock system, the command style system, and I think we really did a lot, right? We obviously will be changing a lot in Kingdom Hearts 3, but uh, for Kingdom Hearts 2.5, we didn't really change a lot of the mechanics. However, uh, for the Birth by Sleep, um, the controls were for the PSP, so we changed that into a PS3 version. Um, it's easier to control using the right uh, stick for the camera, for example, so we changed it, we tweaked that. It'll be really pretty natural to actually control for the PS3 version of Birth by Sleep. Cool. All right, so I have, please uh, forgive me if I don't say this right. Louis P. from Bourgogne, France asks, were there any Final Fantasy or Disney characters or worlds that you wished to add to the previous Kingdom Hearts games but could not? Well, um, for Birth by Sleep, I wanted Vincent. Right, I, I like Vincent uh, from Final Fantasy VII, but um, um, due to oh well, there wasn't really a place that you could uh, have. There's no setting for Vincent that would fit uh, Vincent. He should come out of a coffin, for example. There was no real co coffin in Birth by Sleep, right? Yeah. So um, that's one of the characters I would like to uh, uh, incorporate, maybe, but it wasn't possible. You know, the gameplay would be really exciting too. Uh, he has the mans and he has the guns, right? So right, it'd be right. fun as uh, maybe an enemy character. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah. Um, but at least you guys got to get Zach Fair in there. Yeah, Zach Fair was from fun, the yeah. Seven Universe. <laughs> yeah. Uh, were there? Any, sorry, this is a random kind of question. But yeah. were there any challenges with kind of bringing Zach into the? Well, into Zach, the I, you know, for Zach, I think um, Zach is the other Final Fantasy characters. He is more uh, real. He, and and when we bring it, brought him to uh, Kingdom Hearts, he should uh, he would he's a little bit more cuter, I think. Cuter. Uh, his his shape is a little more round. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I mean, so he sort of rearranged that for uh, the Kingdom Hearts uh, Kingdom Hearts that's series. Cool. Yeah. So I guess that's a change. That's, All right. Turn? Yeah, your turn, your turn. Sorry, guys. Okay, so uh, this question comes from Jared from Seattle, Washington. Uh, will Birth by Sleep feature the command menu in the original version or have a combat system similar to that of Kingdom Hearts 2? For uh, Birth by Sleep, really like the deck command system, mm -hmm. so we incorporated that. Uh, we haven't changed that. Okay. Yeah, so um, we understand that a lot of uh, players actually like, like the Birth by Sleep system as well right. and the Kingdom Hearts 2 system, but I think they belong to each other, so yeah, they, <laughs> yeah, they separated. Yeah. So you okay. can enjoy both, both systems, I think. Uh -huh. yeah. yeah, I agree. I think both have their own charm and yeah. both are all awesome in their own way. That's right. Yeah. So there's a different strategy you can incorporate for two, uh, the other games, right? So I guess yeah. you can enjoy both. 